and welcome you to my channel. And today we want to reset the uh, maintenance reminder on the Triumph Tiger 660 Sport. So first thing, take off the tail bag here. Put them around. And then we'll have to rear, remove the rear seat. a little push down as you turn makes it easier to come off. Okay, so if we turn on the motor bike ignition. So you will see if we scroll through some of these things, there is some differences. You can see the wrench icon there. Bugged so many people. Um, it changed this it used to show me my average fuel there in the lower box and now it shows me my time to fill up and I think the time felt to fill up used to be on this display maybe these boxes here have taken up that space but we will see that soon enough and uh, then this has been replaced with your 295 kilometers past your oil change now I have already done the oil change and so I'm hoping to reset all this Okay, we'll leave her there for now, and we will start to look at getting this done. Okay, so our OBD port is located right here. It just sticks onto uh, a little spot there that fits in there nicely. Now we need a Bluetooth OBD, so I'm going to put that there. See, hopefully that will show up okay. That's the box that came in. I borrowed this from a friend. So there you can see the actual reader. And we're going to plug this into here. So the first thing you'll notice is there is a light because there is power there all the time. So that's good. That's the first step okay so I'm hoping you'll be able to see this um, you'll have to install tune ECU which you can download from their website at tuneecu.net I believe if that's wrong I'll make a correction so we'll hit that and so then what happens is this comes up and it says unregistered it said registered before let's see app update Checking for updates. It was up to date. Let's try a license update. There, license updated. So it's happy, right? Now this won't work until we turn our ignition on. So let's turn the ignition on. I have not tried this. So hopefully you can see the screen. Then we click on ECU, select, uh, I believe it's the Canyon one. Let's try that. Connect. Connecting to VPAC, so it went there. So flashing red now, it's flashing green. The bike isn't warmed up, so last time I saw the actual temperature. Unregistered. Do you want to register? Yes. Yes. Well. Bike registration done. Green C12 volts. Now you can see the voltage. And there's a blue light. And the temperature. 16 degrees. Okay, so then we're going to hit the... Um, oh, sorry, how did he do that? Adjustments. Okay, we're going to turn off the um, list. There's all the sensors we might want to look at. Okay, I'm going to stop the video and figure out which one I had to press. <laughs> okay, we're back. Hopefully this is... Viewable. So it doesn't matter which of these screens we're on. 
This first one will be fine, so we're going to hit ECU, tests and adjustments, and I didn't, it wasn't obvious to me, but you just click adjustments down there, and then we click reset service interval, run, please wait, and, oh, there we go. And our choices are in kilometers, 1600 or 1500. Oh, there we go. Let's make it, well, the book says 15 or 1600. Let's make it 10,000. For now, kilometers, what's this? <laughs> Let's make it 10,000 kilometers, even, validate select date so this is one year from now so it's fair enough validate confirm next yes reset service interval yes all right so that's all happy yep okay now let's go look at the other screen okay so you can see let's go back up to the main menu so there's the main menu it's all clear at the bottom now we have our trip odometer and um, yeah so you do lose this last space so you lost some of this information after the light went on i thought i'd be able to live with the you know the service light but losing that last display is uh not very nice so here we go we have an average of 17.7 .7 kilometers per liter usually i do better than that and your distance to uh your next fill so there we go. So the next service interval is 2023 or 11,000 kilometers. And um, 1096 is my total kilometers. That's another thing that was missing when the service light was on. I couldn't see the total kilometers on the bike. So I hope you enjoy this video and it helps you uh, if you choose to do this at your own um, peril, I suppose. Uh, do your own oil change and, and reset your own server center interval. Please subscribe if you want to watch any more videos as I create a few more about this bike. Thanks for watching.